Hello, this is Sims Art. The Other Falling in the Blue, currently published on Webtoon. Today I'm going to show you how to create a webcomic from scratch. In the previous videos, I showed you how to set a new document, how to sketch an episode, and how to ink it. In this video, I will show you how to color the panels in a streamlined way using Clip Studio Paint tools. Coloring a comic is the final and one of the most important parts of the process. It can turn a panel from nice to gorgeous. There are countless methods to color a comic in Clip Studio Paint. For my comic, I decided to follow a process that allows me to have the best possible result by keeping the production time short and in line with the deadlines. It's also important to consider the arrangement of the layers in order to keep flexibility and move the panels once everything is finished, in case edits are necessary. In this video, we will see how to color a panel, creating a folder that contains all the elements of that panel. How to create two or more normal layers to contain the flats of each element of the panel. How to fill these layers with flat colors. How to create clipped, multiply and overlay layers for shadow and highlights and how to finalize our comic. The first thing to do is to create a folder for each panel or groups of panels that share the same color layer. Each folder is named with a number that correspond to the number written on the script. Inside this folder, we will have the sketch on top, the ink layer in the middle and a folder that I call colors on the bottom. This is how I set up every panel hierarchy. Once we have the folder ready, I like to start with a normal layer inside the folder colors. This layer is where the flat colors of the panel will be applied. It's not unusual to have multiple color layers for a panel. Usually the amount of color layers necessary depends on the complexity of the panel and on the situation. As rule of thumb, the minimum amount is one or multiple layers for the characters or key elements and one or multiple layers for the background or secondary elements. In order to color the panels, I like to use the fill sub tool. You will find a tool property of the fill sub tool in the description. The fill sub tool is a powerful tool that can be used in many different ways and the setting sometimes has to be adjusted according to the situation. I like to color the areas quickly, clicking and dragging over every area that has to be colored with that specific color. If I have any small imperfections, I usually fix it with a solid round brush. When the flat colors of the panel has been completed, I create two new layers on top of the flat color layer. Each layer is clipped to the flat color layer, clicking on the button clip to layer below in the layer panel. This is important because now Clip Studio will not show the colors outside the areas defined by the flat color layer with clip the shadows and highlights on. These two layers are for highlights and shadow and so I name them accordingly. The shadow layer is set on multiply from the blending mode drop down menu in the layer panel the highlights layer is set on overlay instead. At this point, with a solid round brush, I select the shadow color from the color set and I start adding the shadows in the shadows layer. Then I move to the highlights layer, select the current highlight color from the color set and paint the highlights on the element I'm coloring. Finally, we will have three layers, flat colors, shadows and highlights. We can now proceed to repeat this operation for each element of the panel until every element has been colored and shaded. If more shadows are necessary, we can add new multiply or overlay layers clipped on the same flat color layer to add more depth. Once all the panel's colors are over, we can activate the balloons again and the episode is ready to be submitted. It may be necessary to adjust the colors or move some elements after the last edit or revision, but with this process, it should not be a problem. I hope you'll find this information useful, and for any question, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, 
You can find more about my work on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. See you next time.